EPFL scientists have invented a technique to navigate electronic devices that are smaller than human hair inside blood vessels and rich arterioles. The next step will be conducting in vivo tests. The cardiovascular system is astonishing. It uses the blood that circulates in our veins and arteries to transport oxygen and nutrients to every tissue in the body. EPFL researchers have decided to harness hydrokinetic energy, that is mechanical energy resulting from the motion of liquids, to get to places in the human body without resorting to invasive methods. Large proportions of the brain remain inaccessible because the existing tools are unwieldy and exploring the tiny intricate cerebral vascular system without causing tissue damage is extremely difficult. Doctors can access patients' arteries by pushing and rotating guide wires and later sliding hollow tubes called catheters. However, when arteries begin to narrow, especially in the brain, this advancement technique reveals its limits. Scientists at EPFL engineered tethered microscopic devices that could be introduced into capillaries with unprecedented speed and ease. This technology is not intended to replace conventional catheters, but to augment them. The devices consist of a magnetic tip and an ultra-flexible body made of biocompatible polymers. The researchers explain its operation by asking to imagine a fish hook gradually released into a river. It will get carried along by the current. The researchers simply hold on to one end of the device and let the blood drag it to the most peripheral tissues. They gently rotate the magnetic tip of the device at the bifurcation for choosing a specific path. Since no mechanical force is applied directly at the vessel wall, the risk of causing any damage is very low. Moreover, harnessing blood flow could reduce the operation time from several hours to a couple of minutes. Both the release of the device and the magnetic steering are under computer control. Furthermore, there is no need for force feedback as the tip of the device does not push against the vessel walls. The researchers tested the device inside artificial microvasculature systems. The next phase will involve tests on animals with the state-of-the-art medical imaging systems. Scientists are also hoping to develop other devices with a range of onboard actuators and sensors.